So in 2016, a law passed allowed us to um, sell bottles and, and do tastings and cocktails out of our taste room. The one stipulation is that is, is it limited us to one and a half ounces per day per person. Um, that has been kind of a big sticking point. So visitors, is they can only allow, they can only have one drink when they come. So ever since that occurred, we've been kind of trying to figure out a way around, uh, around that. Um, and the kind of go around is if we are a bona fide eating establishment with a restaurant, um, we can serve more than one spirit. Um, and uh, we also knew that we were running out of space. So this obviously gives us a lot more space to play around with. Um, it gives us a lot more opportunity for growth. And um, it allows us to kind of reach the customer in a different way. Um, so with, the, with the, the restaurant over there and the taste room over on this side, um, we can really do um, uh, tours of the space, um, more education, um, and provide a better customer experience in the restaurant where people can come and enjoy all of our spirits um, in an environment with food. So we're hoping that this, is, and it looks like there's a lot of work still left to be done, but there's going to be painting done this week. They'll start doing tile work. A lot of the finished work's going to happen in the next you know, 45, 60 days. Uh, we hope to be open sometime in, in May. So this is the site of our future distillery. We're going to move our, all of our production from over from a current spot over to here. So right where I'm standing is where we're going to basically do all of our whiskey manufacturing. So um, our mash tun, our kettle will be right about here. And then we've got three stills that are going to go on the other side. Two of our existing stills and then one, one um, additional still that we're importing from, uh, from Italy that will be completely dedicated to uh, uh, the production of gin. And uh, yeah, so it's about four times the size of our current space. Allows for a lot of opportunity to grow. Um, potential can line over on this section. Um, expanded office space. On the other side of that wall is our new tasting room with an outdoor patio. So um, we still have a tasting room where we'll be able to, be able to come in and buy bottles, um, buy merch, um, have a cocktail or enjoy tasting. And then um, on the other side of this wall is the new restaurant space. So about 3,000 square feet of restaurant, um, 1,000 foot square foot kitchen with um, with a, a full hood, um, lots of kitchen equipment. Uh, we've got a great chef, JP, um, who signed on. Um, so we're really excited about the food. Yeah, so this is the new space. Um, this is um, what we call our, this is our bar area. So there'll be a bunch of cocktail stations back here. Um, a roll up door opening up to the patio outside. Um, right here is some um, Beckett seating. There'll be about uh, 14 seats along this wall. Um, another uh, set of seats on the other side of that. Um, with about 50 seats in the total dining room, another like 20 to 30 seats out here in the, in the bar area, and then there's some outdoor patio space. So this is the new tasting room. Uh, it's going to mimic similar style of our existing one. So a lot of burnt wood, copper bar top, uh, some Mexican tile back in this area. Um, very dark and cozy. We'll have an outdoor patio over in this space. So these roll-up doors will open up um, to a small little outdoor fenced-in patio. This will be um, the space for um, our tastings. Tours will begin here, as well as this will be um, a space that we can rent out for, um, for private events. So currently we haven't had that much space over there in our existing space. Uh, we've basically had to close down for any private events. This will allow us to kind of keep overall operations open and then um, rent out a small uh, space for private events. Yeah. So uh, we're hiring. We've got open positions for um, front of the house staff, like bussers and waiters and servers, bartenders. Um, and then we've got a lot of positions in the kitchen, um, line cooks, dishwashers, prep cooks. Um, we have, we've got some uh, positions available in our tasting room. So, and actually an open distiller position. So if you know anyone that's got distilling experience, we're looking for somebody.